Hello everyone, great to see you again. Today we are going to go over creating your own Bitmoji classroom through PowerPoint and then adding it into your Microsoft Teams class. With many teachers continuing to teach virtually, Bitmoji classrooms have become super popular in a way to build a more welcoming online classroom. So these classrooms can be used in many different ways for daily announcements, mini lessons, or just to have a little bit fun in your class. So let's get right into personalizing your virtual classroom with Bitmoji. To make your own Bitmoji classroom, you just need a few things. A blank PowerPoint slide, some images, your Bitmoji, and any links that you'll want to add into your page. So this is what your uh, classroom could possibly look like when it's all complete. But we'll start from scratch, so I'm going to add in a new blank slide and just get rid of these text boxes. And so the first thing we usually need to do is to find a floor and a wall. And so you can find this um, through Google. So we can just type in floor. And there are a couple settings that you should change to find the correct images. So up here under tools, you can change the usage rights to labeled for reuse. So this way, all of your images have no issues with copyright. One more tip is for under color, change to transparent. This way it's easy to layer all of your images on top of each other. So there are quite a few preset backgrounds that you can find online, but some of them do have a fee and it's really not difficult to make your own slide. So that's what we're gonna do and hopefully you guys think it's just as easy. So once you find an image that you like, you can just save the image onto your desktop. And once that's saved, you are able to just go back and insert it into your PowerPoint slide. So up here under pictures, you can find where you've saved the image and then insert that into your slide. And then once the pictures are inserted, we need to crop or resize and rotate and put it where it needs to go on the slide. Another way to find images is just directly through the online pictures on PowerPoint. So that's powered through Bing and you can search up any images there and just click and insert as well. I'm just going to continue putting some photos into my slide. Once most of your pictures are inserted and you're placing them, you may find that some pictures need to go on top of others. So you just need to hold down on the image and click send to back. And then this way, so your images will be layered. So here I'm at a pretty good stopping point where this is the basics of my classroom. I'm going to reuse this slide, but I might want to change some other things. So I'm going to save this one as it is as an image or PDF on my desktop. So then that way next time I want to change some things on the slide I already have a starting point as a background for my slide and I'll just be able to edit the other things that I need to. So I'm going to quickly add the rest. Okay great. I have most of the basics done here so now it's time to add my Bitmoji. So to add your own Bitmoji, you guys will need to use a Chrome browser. So we go into Chrome, we need to download the Bitmoji extension from the Chrome Web Store. So once you have that downloaded, you can log into your account. If you guys don't have one, it's super easy. You can just make one and then you create a, a, create a Bitmoji. And once that's done, up at the top tab, you can click the Bitmoji icon extension. If you don't have it up there, just click the little puzzle piece and make sure it's pinned to your toolbar. So we can click this and we need to find one to add into our slide. So to find good full body Bitmojis, we can just type in pose and then we'll just need to right click to copy our image and save it onto our desktop. So 
just like before, when we go back into PowerPoint, we can go pictures, find your Bitmoji, and then add it into your slide. So now to make this classroom a little bit more interactive for your students, we can add some links and some videos into the slide. So one way to do this is through text. So you can do any links, just highlight your text and attach a link. So I have this daily warm up and I'll just add a link to a worksheet that I want them to do. And so you can put those anywhere and also on top of images. So if you just click an image and click link, you can also link this image to another slide. So if there's something, if you're making a whole slide deck, this can be linked to a different slide with other information that you want your students to look at or also to a website. And then let's say you want to add a video into the slide for your students to watch. So this way you can just go to insert and an online video and then you can just paste the link for the YouTube video that you want to add in and it will add the video into your slide. Once that's complete, you can resize and put it where it needs to go. And voila, your guys' classroom is complete. So now to share this with your students. So to share it on Teams, we are going to begin by clicking the share button up here and copying the website link of our PowerPoint slide. So before we put it into our Teams, we also need to add this little piece of text to the end. So this makes it a published online version of your PowerPoint. So once you have that added in at the end, we can go over to Teams and up at the top ribbon, we'll click the plus and add in a website. So we'll change the name to Virtual Classroom and we can paste our link and then we can hit save and it will, okay, yep, it works. It appears there on the top tab and when you open it, your slideshow is there for students to explore all on their own. If you guys have any other questions with Microsoft Teams and teaching online, you can check out this video here for a quick tutorial on teaching online with Teams. If you are not a Teams user, you can also easily share that website link with your students or simply download a PDF of that slide and share it with students however you get in touch with them. All right, you guys, so that's everything that you need to know to get you started in creating your Bitmoji classroom and then adding it into your Teams account. So thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope you have as much fun as I did in creating your own classroom. So if this video helped you guys out, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the little bell so that you'll be updated when a new video from us comes out. Thanks for watching and see you guys soon.